So Tom Dice from Belgium here in Amsterdam. First question: How are you finding this whole experience? Um, it's it's a, a small circus, I, I think, but it, it's great to be here in Holland. It's not that far from Belgium, so it, it's 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 still uh, great to be here. And uh, yeah, it's nice to meet the other countries. So it, it's it's a great. Um, experience to, to meet them before the contest. Mm -hmm. Now you were selected internally this year, yeah. how did the whole procedure come around? Well, they, they, they um, from VRT, it's, it's a TV station in Belgium, they, they asked uh, me but also other artists to, to have a talk with, with them and uh, then yeah, they had the best feeling when, 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 when we had, had that talk and um, <laughs> what I wanted to do on the Eurovision Song Contest um, they, they, they had a great idea about it and then they chose me and uh, then I wrote the song and now I'm here. Where were you when you found out that they wanted you? How did you... I was, I think, in the bathroom, yeah, I, I was in the bathroom and then uh, and my manager called, uh, yeah, they, they want to talk with us but they don't want to say where it's for. And then I said, it's definitely for the Eurovision Song Contest and I was right, so it, it, it was a little meant to be, I think. How did it feel? It, it feels great. It feels normally I, I, I'm more of a, a rock weather or, or a Glastonbury uh, type. Uh -huh. I, I'll, I'd love to play there on, on a day, but when they asked me for the Eurovision Song Contest, uh, I, I was I was also excited because I'm, I'm not um, a person who wants to do one thing. I want I want to do it all and. Now it's, it's my chance for Eurovision and maybe next year uh, some festivals. So you said you're kind of a rock Glastonbury kind of fan. Oh. Yeah, I'm, of course I am. I, I'm, I'm a really a big fan yeah, of, of Muse. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't have that, that rock voice, so I, I sing a whole different style, more uh, acoustic singer-songwriter. So, but, but I think it, ha it has a place in, in, in different festivals. Yeah. And when you wrote the song, did you have any kind of specifications from the broadcast or did you have a free... Uh, limit a free range. Um, well, th they knew what, what my style was, mm -hmm. so they they just asked me write as, as many <laughs> songs as possible, and, and then uh, we we picked the best. So me me and my guitar is written with a, a British uh, songwriter Ashley Hicklin, and also with Jeroen Swin. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't alone, but it's it's written about me. It's about me and my guitar. So it's it's just great that I, I can perform it. And when you presented the song on television. In Belgium. How did you feel like two minutes before going on stage, before premiering this song? I, I, I really was thinking, from, oh my god, is, is this really happening? Is this my show? It, it was just a show about me, so it was really weird but really amazing too, yeah. Um, and I mean, have you followed Eurovision before in previous years? Do you have any favorite songs? Yeah, uh, my, my favorite song is, is uh, Brainstorm uh, mm -hmm. with uh, My Star, but also uh, the Olsen Brothers with uh, Fly on the Wings of Love. So. I, I, I like many, many things actually, but those two are, are the most, uh, are my favorites. And Belgium's done badly in the last few years. They haven't qualified for a final for a long time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a while, it's a while, but yeah, it, it only can get better, so I have nothing to lose and I, I will do, do my best to, to finally reach the finals uh, mm -hmm. again and then hope on, on a good result. And um, is your stage performance going to be similar to what we saw in the Belgian presentation? <coughs> no, it's, it's uh, well, the outfit uh, is, is going to change, it's, it's more a more classy uh, thing, but um, the, the performance is, is going to stay me and my guitar because it should be weird when there, there are uh, five people uh, after me who are dancing, that, that shouldn't be uh, what it has to be, so it's just me and my guitar and, and um, more is not necessary. And finally, do you have anything you want to say to Eurovision fans watching online? Yeah, of course, uh, I hope you really enjoy uh, my song and um, yeah, just vote if, if you like it and if you don't like it, I hope uh, you like it one day. Thank you very much and the best of luck in Oslo. Thank you.